Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Now, today's idea was actually suggested by you in the comments, and we're gonna be making some easy and healthy, savory, vegan breakfast. But first, I wanna give a big thanks to Squarespace for supporting this channel and helping me bring more and better content to you guys. If you wanna create your own website, store, or blog, go to squarespace.com slash minarome and get 10% off your first purchase. More on that later though, because now we're gonna go and make the breakfast. Let's get started with some creamy sweet potato and chickpea wraps. Start by preheating your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Next up, peel a small to medium sized sweet potato and cut that into little cubes. Lay them out on a baking sheet that is lined with parchment paper and that goes into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. You can also drizzle them with olive oil or season them, but I just kept mine plain and simple. Rinse your chickpeas. Cut up the half of an apple. And if you like, you can also cut up a few red onion rings. Now in a bowl, we're gonna mix together the baked sweet potato with the chickpeas, some parsley, one to two teaspoons of white tahini, some lemon juice, and some seasoned salt. Also mix in the apple pieces and that is it with the filling. Grab the tortilla of your choice, spread some hummus on there, the next layer would be some greens, a few heaping tablespoons of the filling. Some avocado of course and lastly a few onion pieces now roll it up tuck in the sides and that's it Breakfast number two is going to be a savory porridge. Now begin by dicing up a red or yellow onion. And saute that in a saucepan a medium high. You can use water or olive oil to do that just until the onions are translucent. Next up, add in the oats. Give that a good stir. And then add in your liquid that can be water or a vegetable stock. Let that cook with the lid slightly open for about 5 minutes. And then as for the seasoning, I went for some dried Italian herbs, some smoked paprika powder, this stuff is so good, and uh, what else? The juice of a lemon. I mixed in some frozen spinach and also some kidney beans. Last but not least, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Top off your oatmeal with whatever you like. I went for some avocado and a bit of sun-dried tomato paste. And here's how to make that if you want to make that yourself. The 
This last idea is a different take on your basic avocado toast. It's an avocado and apple bread. So I went for this super dark uh, sunflower seed bread. I just mashed up the half of an avocado. I seasoned that with lemon juice, dried Italian herbs, and some seasoned salt. This idea is pretty self-explanatory, I know. Just cut up an apple into really thin slices and that's gonna be your topping. Recently, I've really come to like putting apple or fruit in general into savory dishes. It's pretty good. And yeah, also added some walnuts to the top and some cress, and that was it. Okay, now I hope that you guys enjoyed these recipes. Let me know in the comments if you're planning on trying any of these out and let me know what was your favorite. Now let me talk a bit more about Squarespace and what they do. They're an all-in-one platform helping people design their own professional looking websites. You can get your personal domain which is awesome and they have beautiful templates to choose from. I'm actually in the midst of creating my own very first site using their service so that's super helpful since I have no idea of website building whatsoever. I'm gonna let you guys know when the site's up and running of course and if you want to give it a try yourselves go to squarespace.com slash minarome and get a free trial plus 10 percent off your first purchase um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye